Hi, welcome, Simon here, and I hope you're doing well. In this video, I'll be doing a screen replacement on a MacBook Air. If you're not sure what model this is, turn it around, take a look at the back of your laptop. It says A2179, MacBook Air 13 inch, and this is a space gray. All right, so the first thing we need to do is to have the tools ready, as well as the screen replacement. I do have the screen replacement here, ready to go. It's a full assembly, meaning that the top cover, the glass, the LCD with the display board is all part of one piece together. So it's a full assembly screen. We'll be swapping over with the broken ones. Okay, so the first thing you need to have is to get yourself a Pantalope P5 screwdriver. It's a little five pointy stuff that allows you to remove the back cover. So let's go ahead and remove all the screws here. If you're not sure where to buy the tools and the replacement tools from, uh, go ahead and check the link down below. I'll list them and it will direct you to either Amazon or eBay where you can find the replacement screen as well as the tools for this repair. Now, four of the screws here on the top are much longer and the rest of the screws here are a lot shorter. So make sure you do not mix, match the screw. As you remove the screws, you want to have them in a position on the table where you can remember to put them back accordingly. All right, so once you have removed all the screws, the next step is to pry open the back cover. And what I like to do is to get myself a metal prying tool. And this metal prying tool is just to go in between that back cover here, if I can find it, okay. So you can actually use the corner, uh, try to stick it underneath, in between that. Now you can have a little gap here coming from the back of the cover, okay. So use your finger nail and try to pop it open. And that's how you remove the entire back plate. So this back plate is not the one that slide down. This is just pretty much removed off from the computer. All right, so as you can see that this is the entire um, the, the internal part of the computer and the first thing I like to do is to disconnect the battery. So this is the battery here. There's a little tape that is taping onto the connector. So flip the tape open, get yourself a plastic prying tool, try to push that cable to your left. At the same time, you want to pull it so that it can be easily remove okay so let me get a good grip at the bottom of the cable push and pull all right so we just disconnect the entire um, connector which powers up the computer so that is the battery connector now the next step is to get yourself a t4 screwdriver using the t4 we are going to remove the screw here When you remove the two screws, then the bracket would come right off. Make sure you have the bracket and the screws, put it on the side so you can remember how to put them back afterwards. All right, so we have removed the screws. Now we're gonna come here and remove the Wi-Fi antenna connector screw so that is the bracket and the tiny little screw get yourself a plastic prying tool and you, what you want to do is just to lift it up lift the cable up and you just disconnect the Wi-Fi okay and then come here and do the same for the LCD cable okay the next step is to go ahead and Remove the two screws here, the two black screws. And 
and that way you just free up the entire LCD board so you can see the LCD board now is a free and loose and ready to go okay so the next step is to try to pry it open this is your Wi-Fi antenna it has a little pressure here in the center which it would lock down towards the metal bracket here so all you have to do is just lift it straight up let me demonstrate again so the thing was in between stick through it okay so the thing was like that and what you need to do is to lift it up and just wiggle a little put a little bit pressure in the center and lift it straight up put the Wi-Fi antenna here on the side all right and then we're gonna get yourself a T8 screwdriver and we are removing the hinge so there's six screws three on each side of it let's remove all six screws okay once you have done with removing all the six screws now what you can do is open up your screen so you're going to push it up about 90 degree angle and now you can gently slide the hinge off of the laptop okay you do that at the same time you want to do it on the other side and now the entire screen would just pop up right so you did it on one side and come back on the other side now the entire full screen would just disconnect right so simple as that this is the bad screen we'll be replacing with the new one here comes the new screen what you want to do is you want to pre open that hinge all the way to the back so flip it all the way to the back on both sides of it and holding on to the base of your computer making sure the cable is on top of the laptop meaning that it goes above it you do not want them to be at the bottom that way you won't have a display so lift it up put it on top of the computer the next step is to slide the hinge back down okay so this is the hinge I'm gonna slide it back down okay slide it back in there make sure the cable is still uh, above the laptop and then do the second slide coming in now you can see that the hinge is installed on both of the sides what you want to do is go get yourself the T8 screwdriver and we are going to install that one screw here so that we can close the screen and continue the rest of the repair so put one screw in that's all you need to hold it down okay and now you can close the screen okay simple as that double check the cable make sure it's on the top and finish the rest of the screw holding down to your hinge okay once you have done with that process the next step is to install the Wi-Fi antenna and make sure the LCD board is in between that go through in between that and the video cable connector is also not in between the uh, I mean what I'm trying to say is it, it got to go above it so make sure you pull it down and have the Wi-Fi antenna go sit it straight in it okay so once you have the Wi-Fi antenna 
in the right position and it's installed, you might want to press it a little bit in the center for the clipper to go back in. At the same time, make sure you align with the LCD board so that the two black screws can go back in it. While you're holding down the Wi-Fi antenna, I want to get myself a T4 screwdriver here. I want to put the two screws back in just to lock it down so it doesn't move around. Okay, so once that thing is installed, do not forget the two screws here. The two black screw has to go back in to close down the LCD board. So let's go ahead and fastening the screw, tighten up that screw so that the board can sit right in. Okay. One of them is installed. Let's work on the second one. Okay, and the next thing is to put that LCD connector back in. They're kind of like Lego you have to align them in the right position and just press it down gently. You don't have to force it down. Um, you just have to align them, make sure this in the right position. And then the same thing for the Wi-Fi connector. The connector, you just have to make sure you align them in a position and then press it down gently. Okay, do not force it in because you try not to bend any of the, uh, the connector or any of the metal. So just be careful when you do it. All right, so once you have done with that process, remember that tiny little bracket and that one screw holding down the Wi-Fi antenna, put that thing back in it. Okay, and here comes the video connector and the bracket and the two screws. Okay, did you notice that they are missing screws or the bracket here for the camera cable as well as the backlighting cable. Some of the new screen does not come with it, meaning that it is still here on your old screen. What you can do is you just have to take it out and transfer over to that new screen. So some vendor they pre-install for you and some of them they don't. Um, if you find happen to find out that your new screen doesn't come with it, uh, not a big deal, you just have to transfer from the original screen uh, back to that new screen. Simple as that, okay?
all right so we are pretty much done with that screen and the last but not least is to reconnect the battery back together so make sure you have the connector aligned in a position where you can gently slide it to your right and to install it so push it all the way in and you hear that little click once it's done just flip the plastic tape back in and the back cover with the back cover you just have to press it down a little bit right in the center you can hear that little click and that click is to secure the back cover and do not forget with all the screws you're supposed to put back in and secure the back plate all right so if you have followed along the video so far and you can get your screen replaced by yourself in less than 15 minutes uh, congrats good job uh, please comment below let me know that if you were able to replace the screen by yourself I like to see if you are able to do it and um, if you find the video is helpful please click the like and share uh, if you haven't subscribed to the channel please subscribe to the channel I appreciate you for doing so but other than that um, yeah I just hope that this video is helpful and you were able to replace your own screen rather than sending it to a repair shop or maybe back to Apple where they might charge you a lot of money okay so you again if you're not sure where to buy the screen from or the tools check the link in the description below I got them on Amazon and some of the tools can be uh, replacement screen can be bought at eBay as well all right so check the link below thanks for watching I wish you all the best in your repair bye now